In today's exercise, we will examine the maintenance procedures for our Taurus TR-130 3D tank cleaner. The TR-130 is highly effective for cleaning tanks, vessels, autoclaves, ducts, and reactor interiors. This Taurus model is pressure rated up to 22,000 PSI and features a high flow rate, up to 80 gallons per minute. With five separate inlet options and four interchangeable manifolds, the TR-130 can handle a wide range of pumps, working pressures, and different applications. The TR-130 features a handy speed control adjustment shown here. In addition, the five grease zerks have been relocated to the exterior of the body and the entire unit has a beefed up solid steel housing. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with the main components of the TR-130, beginning with the inlet assembly, elbow assembly, cross shaft assembly, brake assembly, and interchangeable manifolds. Note how the cross shaft rotates freely when properly assembled. Before we dig into the maintenance procedures, let's look at the tools required. You'll need a pick, hex wrenches, a slot screwdriver, blue goop anti-seize, and grease. We'll review the maintenance kits at the end of this video. Begin by placing the TR-130 on a workbench with the shaft end up. Use a quarter inch hex wrench to loosen the four sealing screws on the cross shaft assembly and lift it out. Note the square shaped o-ring in the groove around the perimeter of the cross shaft assembly. In most cases you can leave this in place. The cross shaft has its own carbide seat and high pressure seal. Remove both of these with a pick and set aside. Note, sometimes the carbide seat will remain in the elbow assembly when you remove the cross shaft. Simply remove it from the elbow. The seat and seal are wear items and should be set aside. You'll find replacement parts in your service kit. With the cross shaft removed, we'll tackle the inlet end. First, use a pick to remove the o-ring from the end of the inlet shaft. Next, use your quarter inch hex wrench again to remove the four sealing screws. Disconnect the inlet end from the body. Note the square shaped o-ring in the groove similar to the one in the cross shaft assembly. The inlet assembly also has its own seat and seal. Use a pick to remove them for replacement later. Next, use your 5 seconds inch hex wrench to loosen and remove the long bolts that hold the elbow and brake assembly together. With the bolts removed, you can separate the two halves. A little twisting action will help loosen the gearing when separating as shown. Your disassembly is now complete. Examine the wear items as shown here. When you are at this stage in your maintenance, we recommend replacing both seat and seal sets, regardless of wear, to take full advantage of your downtime. Begin reassembly by placing the carbide seat and high pressure seal in the inlet end of the cross shaft assembly. Apply a generous amount of grease to each part as you install them. Install the seal first, pressed in far enough to leave a 1 16th inch recess. The carbide seat will rest in that recess with the chamfer side facing up. Repeat the procedure with the cross shaft assembly. Set both assemblies aside. It's time to reconnect the elbow and the brake assembly. As the gearing comes together, repeat the slight twisting motion you use when disconnecting. With the two halves back together, apply anti-seize to the threads and screw in the long through bolts as shown. Tighten with a 5 seconds inch hex wrench. Next, mount the inlet assembly back on the body. Brush anti-seize on the threads and replace the four sealing screws. Tighten with a quarter inch hex wrench. Repeat the procedure with the cross shaft assembly. Remember to brush anti-seize on the threads here too. Tighten with your quarter inch hex wrench. With all the components back on the body, it's time to apply grease to the five zerks that run along the outside of the body. It is important to fill the body with grease in order for the tool to operate properly. Your TR-130 assembly is now complete. Before we wrap things up, let's take a look at the maintenance kit for your Taurus. This is the service kit, the TR-130-600. It contains written instructions, an O-ring, carbide seats, high pressure seals, and blue goop anti-seize. In addition, 
The service kit contains two O-rings for the nipple extensions and two seals for the manifold. The overhaul procedures for the TR-130 are much more complex and we recommend contacting the Stone Age Repair Department before proceeding with an overhaul. Plus, the major torus components, that is, the cross shaft, elbow, inlet, and brake assemblies can be purchased for replacement individually. The inlet, couplings, and manifolds are also for sale individually. Contact your local dealer for pricing information. That's it. Thanks for your attention, and as always, our technical specialists are always on hand to answer any questions or repair issues you may have.